Right, I will show you how to use create a pipeline to get data from HTTP. So I'm just going to pull from HTTP. I'm just going to create a pipeline. So for this video, I'm, I'm going to use data.ac.gov.au and then I'm going to pull the data called cyclist crashes. Okay, so the first thing is to get the HTTP origin block and then go to the destination folder. Here I'm going to store it in a local FS. Connect these two together. Oops. So let's configure the HTTP block first. So I'm just going to say go from open data portal. In HTTP tab, so you click on APIs and then because I'm going to use the CSV, so I'm going to get the CSV link here. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to use the streaming mode, but ideally I should be using batch mode because I just want to show how the data is get, getting into the stream sets. So I'll just leave it as stream, which means it'll this has about 1194 records but once I'm streaming it'll just keep on accumulating data okay and the rest of the parameters I'm just going to use the get method just leave the rest of the parameters go to data formats and then change it to delimited and then this one has a header line so I'm just going to say ah oh, this one has header line all right so and then next is the Local FS. I'm just going to I'm just going to write it to the temp directory. So I'm just going to say save it, save to temp directory. I want to have a prefix called crash underscore. I'm going to change the directory template as slash tmp. So this could be location of any local directory that you want to save and then leave the other attributes unchanged and then change it the data format to delimited and then with the header line okay so this one you can actually play uh, with it you can ignore the header line or you can actually say you won't. so because this data set has a header line i really want to bring the header line as well and then you click on the empty space in the pipeline and then you have to click on error records and then you have to say I'm just going to discard okay I'm not going to write anything and then once you have done this you have to click on this validate button to validate the pipeline okay before I run I just want to show whether it has any crash files in the TM directory it's not so let's go and run this so right now it's just just pulling the data as as it is um, so I'll just quickly go and stop it even though it has 1194 because it's streaming it just just streams all the data okay so i'll just quickly go and stop this i'll just force stop this okay all right let's go and see this okay let me go and do a word count all right yes like 80,000 records so let's go and view this Right, I've got all the records 